Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome. This will be a bonus love tarot reading for all you Sagges out there. If you are after a private reading with me, Sag, all the information that you need is listed below. Um, otherwise, please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell notification button to receive updates of bonus and themed readings, which will be published to the channel. And let's have a look. Having said that, let's have a look and see what's coming up for you, Sagittarius. Okay, first thing I want to say to you, Sagittarius, is that you're stressing over nothing, okay? <laughs> is that there's some possibly some self-inflicted anxiety that's coming up around you, uh, or you not feeling sure of how to communicate or what to say. This is all going to change very, very nicely. You've got some beautiful cards here, um, and only one of this sort of... Um, self-induced um, anxiousness or nervousness in a situation. It might be around an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, it may, if not, it may be around anything to do with communication, with, with thought. Um, it's almost like you were, or you might be, lacking the confidence in someone or in a relationship, but they're about to do something or say something. The Eight of Wands, I feel like this is your energy. Um, they're about to say or do something that is really going to make you feel over the moon, very happy, very wanted. It's a very beautiful energy. Um, and I feel like if this isn't them, it's you, okay? I feel like you're coming into a place where you want to take drastic, you want to take, make drastic moves, bold moves. Um, I think this is you, this is your communication here. Now, this could be someone else feeling this way about you. Okay, a little bit of uncertainty, not really seeing where this is going, the blindfold is on, we don't really have much direction, we're a little bit scattered, our thoughts are a little bit muddled as a result of this, but then suddenly comes in that eight of wands. And I think it could be you, but I think you're taking action. You're taking action but you're taking it in a very positive way and it's going to gain you positive results. So big news or communication coming in, maybe from you, maybe from someone you're dealing with. Uh, but this is a very smitten energy, Sagittarius. It's almost like you won't see this coming uh, because you do have the last night of the deck that's come up, the Knight of Pentacles. And, you know, he's... He's this chivalrous knight, you know, you can see him, he's clad in armor and he's got this noble steed and he's got the pentacle here and he represents, he presents this pentacle to the last king and queen of the deck, which is the king and queen of pentacles. I don't know if this is necessarily an earth sign, some of you may be dealing with two earth cards, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, but I feel like you're coming into this stability. So it's it's quite a big jump here, um, Sag, to go from... The Eight of Swords to the Knight of Pentacles, who's so, who, you know, the Eight of Swords isn't very self-reassured. There's a lot of questions. There's more questions than answers. Um, it's presumptuous activity. But the Knight of Pentacles is oh so different. The Knight of Pentacles is is trustworthy. He's, he's, he's regal. Um, there's an element of finesse. He's well-respected. So this is a big change here. Now, um, it could also be that you're gaining more respect or you're being noticed more. Okay, so I love this. I think you're going to really enjoy the energy or the activity that's coming up around you. This, But I feel like you're wanting something more serious. I feel like what you're wanting and what you're presenting is is aligns very much with what where you are right now as a person, as a lover, as a partner, as a spouse, as an ex. You know, whichever sort of position you identify yourself as, There's there's this wonderful energy with that Knight of Pentacles here. And I almost want to say, can this get any better? Because look who the Knight of Pentacles is offering this pentacle to. We already have the Nine of Pentacles, which is abundance and plenty and lavishness and all these pentacles that grow in the vineyard behind and these lavish robes and the falconry. And it just it's just an image of um, overindulgence and bliss. And, and But it's like the Knight of Pentacles wants to offer another pentacle. It's like... It's like this is the cherry on top of the cake, Sag. 
So I don't know if this is going to happen as a result of your actions, the actions you take, the words you, the conversation you initiate, the words that escape your mouth, or someone you're dealing with romantically. But this is like, here, hey, how are you doing? Come have another pentacle. I'm offering you even more than you already have. So, I mean, this is as good as it gets. I definitely feel like that applies. I definitely feel like this is the cherry on top of the cake. I think you're going to have a lot of experience that make you feel happy, that make you feel high. Um, and, and I think you'll just immerse yourself. This is taking things day by day. So I don't know, but I'm wondering what it is that changes from you to go see how the ones are this way, the sword, uh, sorry, the swords sort of, um, sort of stuck, stuck in the ground here. Whereas these ones are a different direction. And this is like a 180. You're going from this way to that way. So what is it that changes? What happens between these two cards here, Sag, that makes you, that kicks off the journey, and then suddenly it's coming into stability? You know, this is the pentacle realm. This is all about the physical changes you're about to see. Not only is it mental, it's more physical. So the action someone is going to take, the way in which you accept their actions or exclusivity or physical intimacy, that, that bondness we can experience through our physical beings. I mean, this is all what's shaping up for you, Sad. But I'm wondering, what's, what is it here that changes so quickly that come, I mean, and not that it's a bad thing. I mean, I'm, I'm only questioning it because I'm curious here, Saj, that what, what is it that changes either for you or for this person to make the love connection like this? But I do feel like the Knight of Pentacles represents a trusted offer. So I feel there's someone, you know, and the Eight of Wands is often seen as very smitten activity. It's the arrows of love. And I do feel like someone wants to offer you something. And I don't think it's, it's, it's not half-hearted, okay? It's, it's genuine. And it might even be a little bit over the top here, Sag, but I think it comes from a genuine place. I don't feel like it's to schmooze you and get you really interested and uh, I have this and I have that and look how romantic I am and look what I'm doing for you. It's, I mean, it could be a little bit of showmanship. Okay, It could be that they want to impress you. But why would they go to all these lengths to do that, Sagittarius? They're obviously very interested, but it could be a new offer of love. And you may be hearing from someone that you were uncertain about, that you, you know, you didn't really know, you didn't really know where you where you sat with them, what was happening, what they were doing. So they might have displayed this sort of somewhat disorientating energy, uh, Sagittarius. But maybe I don't know if this. Sometimes the Eight of Wands is seen as, as as a message from God, okay, as a higher power, because the ones are dwelling from uh, the uh, sorry, the ones are um, coming from a direction from the heavens. So I don't know if this is someone has a revelation of some kind, someone has some sort of premonition or guidance or something, a higher power, maybe from the subconscious, maybe from their higher self. If it's not them, it's you. And you'll have that communication. You'll have that sort of be very made very plain to you. And maybe that's what where that transition is made. A bit really beautiful here, Sag. I definitely feel like you're going to be impressed here. I think there's a lot to get excited about, um, which is absolutely fantastic here. And I love these warm yellows and these sky blues. Um, and, you know, it's almost like you can see this land behind you here, Sagittarius. Um, this land, it's, it's ready. It's ready. We're ready to plant. And then look at the rewards, look at the look at what's planted, you know, it's almost like you'll see the fruits of your labors turn up in the physical. We're going from this land that's you know, um looks like it's 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 been um ready to, you know, ready to plant and then reaping what you sow, ready to harvest. Fantastic here, Saj. Um beautiful analogy, but look, I will leave it at that. Thank you again for watching.